Welcome to Playtime with Fiona. And today, I'd like to chat about a problem I see all too often. I spend a lot of time online chatting with members. It's always a concern when someone mentions they live in a small town and that people will not understand if they go out dressed. In a conversation I just had, my member was worried that their grandparents would be terribly upset if they were to learn of this gender fluidity. I often have to point out that we should do our best not to present ourselves in a way that is provocative to those not ready to accept us. Well, while this doesn't mean denying who we are, it does mean that we should find what might be considered an appropriate level of presentation that can work within the society in which we find ourselves. Living in a small conservative town can be very difficult. Many of us feel trapped in these situations and it could be quite oppressive. I would point out there are many ways of accepting that femme side of ourselves without putting on a cheerleader outfit and risking being stoned to death by the local guardians of morality. It's as much about what you think as it is about what you do. And this is where we can find a path to allowing us to be ourselves, even in the most conservative of societies. How you think about yourself and your progression toward the more feminine you is an important part of our lives. Every bit as important as the aesthetic of dressing. So here's a way you can try to help get comfortable with your thoughts. Make a list of 10 things you consider the most masculine about your life. As an example, here's a few of the things on my list. I have leadership roles in my workplace. I go fishing and sailing. I have quite strong opinions, and those are just three. Some of those qualities are not those immediately associated with dressing in a nice skirt and frilly panties. However, they're also not really masculine. I know plenty of women who are strong leaders. My mother was an amazing horsewoman and loved to hunt. And believe it or not, many women have strong opinions. Once you have your list of the 10 most masculine things about yourself, go through it. See if you can think of each one from the feminine angle. You'll likely find those things you consider most masculine are actually just areas in which society has been slow to accept women. Areas in which gender has worked against the very people we most associate with. It's not so much that those activities are not feminine, but they are areas that women have been excluded from for no good reason. Equally, you may know of women who have in turn excelled in those areas. In other words, most of these areas are not really masculine at all. Society has forced us to think of them in a way that isn't fair to women. As far as our own development goes though, adopting more gentle views and more considerate positions on things that require empathy doesn't mean we have to sacrifice things we love to do. If you love to play hockey and drive race cars, don't think for a moment there haven't been women who have excelled in these activities as well. Being an outdoorsy tranny is as valid as being a sissy in a maid's outfit. Ultimately, you adopt those things that feel right and reject the things that don't work for you. This is, after all, about being the authentic version of yourself. Everyone's journey will be slightly different. For those of us in a liberal place where we can dress and act as we wish, it will look one way. And for those in more repressive areas, it will look another. For each one of us, this is a time of growth and development. It's an exciting journey you can enjoy wherever you are. Be sure to check in on my website at fionadobson.com and look for me on Patreon.